an advanced practitioner of Zen, went to the house of the great Zen master, Chao Chao. He knocked loudly on the door, but the master took some time to come to answer. And when he did, as soon as the practitioner put his foot inside the door, Chao Chao closed the door so that his foot was inside and his body was outside. So the practitioner, of course, said, Ouch! 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 The master said, What's the matter? And the practitioner, of course, said, Well, my, my foot is inside the door and I'm outside the door. The master responded, You fool! How can you be inside and outside at the same time. Then there's the story of King Akbar, a very famous Indian king. One day a poet came to the palace, a wandering poet, and he waxed lyrical to the king, making up a poem about him, saying, um, something like, oh, in all the lineage of all the kings of this land, you are the greatest. Well, Akbar was very impressed with this and gave him a very large reward. So this loosened the poet's tongue even more. And he said, you are the greatest king in all of the lands. King Akbar thought to himself, well, yes, I am. Um, because, you know, people come from near and far emperors and kings to give me obeyance. So, yes, yes, I can accept that. Well, of course, the, the poet had warmed to his subject by now, so he said in another poem, finishing it off with, Yes, you are greater even than the god Indra, who is, of course, the greatest of all the gods. And everyone in the court gasped in horror. What blasphemy is this? But they all, of course, kept quiet. And King Akbar looked from one to the other, seeking a response to this. But all of those in the court just lowered their eyes because they did not dare because if they spoke in one way, they would be committing blasphemy, and on the other, if they said something else, they would be hurting the king's feelings. So the king's eyes came to his much beloved counselor, Birbal, and said, Well, Birbal, am I greater than God? And without blinking an eye, Birbal responded, yes, my liege, you are greater than God. And of course, King Akbar looked askance at him and he responded, well, you, you see, you have the power to be able to exile anyone you wish. You can send them to another place. But God, who is all of existence, cannot do so. He cannot send anyone anywhere. So it must be said that you are greater than God. Now, of course, everyone in the court heaved a sigh of relief because Birbal was able to not uh, commit blasphemy and let the king know the status of uh, how it was without hurting uh, the king's feelings. The other day at meditation a statement was made 
that might be considered evocative and certainly leads us into something that um, maybe you'll be able to express in your own way. And that statement was, if we are sad, perhaps, we could not say, I am sad, but my big toe is not sad. So, listening to these anecdotes, is there something that arises for you in recognition of what is there for us as a possibility in these days? And if it could be said, and it must be said, we are at that point in time where we must Answer this question, what is it that's present when stillness and movement meet? Where are we now in this place after this reset, this being brought to a standstill, this recalibration relating to life in a different way? Again, the question is asked of us, what is our relationship with life now? And how can we find the answer in these simple statements? How can we be outside and inside at the same time? We cannot say, I am sad, excluding any part of our being, even existence when we're sad. Everything is sad. Where are we now? What's your expression? of this place. As we look out of our eyes and see life, and we experience life, one is still, and the other in constant movement. Where are we now? Perhaps we can recognize we have nowhere to go. the master who's dying, his students say, don't go, we need you, we need your teachings. And the master responds, where would I go? So many stories, so many anecdotes. If you go to the top of the mountain to get away, but you take yourself with you. <laughs>